This is a very busy time of year for a boy named Alec and his very special mission. You've probably seen him a number of times on TV, but this morning, we hope you'll get a chance to know him. There are few places both as hopeful and as heartbreaking as a children's hospital, especially around the holidays. Hey, try not banging into everybody, okay? While there are many, chances are you may know Shriners Hospitals for Children. And action. Because of one very special patient. Imagine a kid who's told his disability will be a lifelong struggle. Now imagine a place where that same kid is told he can do anything. I don't have to imagine, because that kid is me. I used to be known as just that kid in a wheelchair, and now I'm Alec on the commercials, and that's special to me. So, what is love? If you've seen him, he's pretty hard to forget. Hey, Ross. Hey, Alec. Chicago's Alec Kavakunin. He's one of the spokes kids for Shriners. Since he started doing these ads five years ago. With your monthly gift, we'll send you this adorable love to the rescue blanket as a thank you. Donations have skyrocketed right along with his bloopers. You support Shriners. Come back. Do you feel like you've gotten better as you've done more of them? Uh, no. <laughs> Those kids see him as a mentor, and that's who he's kind of become. Producer and director Tracy Trost handpicked Alec for a reason. He's special. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> but just that I get is why, though, right? Because yeah. he just grabs people without even having to try. He has this life force in him that not a lot of people have. I don't know. I just fell in love with him. I am exceptionally impressed with you. Oh, thank you. You so are much. one of the greatest spokespersons that I've ever seen for the Shrine. Oh, thank you. Shriners, known for their tall crimson hats, is a fraternal brotherhood that's been doing charity work for more than 150 years. You're a big celebrity in our house. I oh, appreciate that. Thank you very much. Alec helps spread their mission, but with 22 hospitals all around North America, that means he's on the road about 80 days a year. It's a demanding job for anyone, let alone this 17-year-old whose bones are about as fragile as a teacup. I've broken over 60 bones in my lifetime. It'll be with me for my life. I'll live with it until I die. That's what brought Alec to Shriners in the first place, a rare genetic disorder called osteogenesis imperfecta, better known as brittle bone disease. His parents, Alma and Gil, got the news before he was born. What did you guys think when the doctors first told you? Pretty scary. It was very emotional for us. We tried for a, our fourth child, uh, and hopefully it was going to be a son. And when we learned it was a son, and learned that he had disability, it was quite emotional. Oh. All right, very good. Brittle bone disease is just what it sounds like. Alec's bones are so delicate, he could crack a rib even with something as simple as a sneeze. Physical therapy like this helps, but there is no cure. And does it hurt? No. Your shoulder or your uh, up in here where it was bothering you? No, it's been feeling really good lately. His longtime physician at Shriners in Chicago is orthopedic surgeon Dr. Peter Smith, an expert in brittle bone disease. Uh, I'm healthy right now, so right now we're staying away from Dr. Smith. And <laughs> Except for social reasons. <laughs> right. I got you, Lee. <laughs> He's like any other kid. He's into video games and, more recently, cars. <laughs> In fact, he's going for his driver's license. My first right turn, I drove into a ditch. <laughs> <laughs> so today's going to be better? Yeah, today's going to be better, I promise you. Check your mirror, check your rear zone. There are pedal extensions so he can reach the accelerator and the brake, but really that's about it. He's been doing so well with his lessons. You're joking with me. Stop. So no, no, you're joking. Stop playing. That his parents surprised him <laughs> with his very own car. Oh my gosh giving him the feeling of independence that any teen gets, but for Alec, infinitely more. 
He doesn't want to have any special treatment. He wants to be treated like everyone else. And I think that's probably one of the things that he has to fight for the most. <laughs> Everything Alec does, he does with gusto, including wheelchair basketball. Ah! <laughs> it's the contact, it's the fast pace, it's, it's everything that you have in sports, but just in a wheelchair. No limits. Really. No limits, right. Mm -hmm. Sports, just about any sport, is his escape. Alec plays so often here, <laughs> Shriners even named the court after him. This place is very special to me. I uh, took my first steps on this court. This is home. Camera rolling. Action. He thought of being a sports broadcaster, in fact, which explains the makeshift TV studio that's in Alec's bedroom. Years ago, he started his own YouTube channel called Smart Alec on Sports. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Smart Alec on Sports. Turns out, Alec is an encyclopedia of stats and trivia. Tiger Woods has gone through a lot of surgery, but I think I'm beating him in that category. He was so good, TNT even welcomed him on its NBA halftime show. I really appreciate the bow tie you're sporting here today. Yeah, thanks, thanks. <laughs> I put it on for you, thank you. I appreciate What about the rest of us? Yeah, will you do anything for us? I, got... I mean, I was gonna shave my head, but... <laughs> <laughs> he makes it all look so easy. But of course, none of it really is. There's a lot of tough days where I just, I wanna sometimes just give up and, uh, <laughs> I just want to just just stop, and it's hard to live with, but there's a lot of kids who have more challenges in life, and I'm pretty fortunate. But doing that every day isn't easy. It's not easy. Uh, it's not hard, though. Hard is relative in Alec's life, always has been. But behind him, every step of the way, have been I his parents. Be the fact that during this shoot <laughs> uh, overwhelmed him. Hey, everyone. I'm Alec. I'm with my mom, my dad. Alec's grateful heart I don't know seemed I'm like it was about to burst. <laughs> you wanted the best care. <laughs> the best doctors, nurses, and staff for your baby son. <laughs> and I just wanted to tell you guys. I love you, Mama, and I love you, Dad. How could anything be more genuine than that? We love you, too. In this season of giving, we can all receive a little something from Alec Kabakunin, a lesson in what grace really looks like. I don't know too much about what will happen to me in the future, but um, if, if something bad does happen, I know that we'll get through it. I know uh, tomorrow is going to be a better day, and if it's not, uh, then I can make it a better day.